In this review, I'm going to be taking a look at the Blackhawk Serpa CQC Concealment Holster. This particular one was purchased to fit my M&P shield. This is also uh, in black. Uh, it's a matte black finish. It is available in a few different colors. I'm also going to discuss the differences between the CQC, this one, and the Sportster. So starting off, um, we'll take a look at the finament of the uh, M&P Shield in, in uh, just a, a few minutes. Um, this is the packaging um, that the CQC comes in. And I believe I paid right around $40 for this. That price could vary depending upon who you buy it from. I think for $40, this is a, a, a very high quality product for the money. And I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. So we have a standard plastic hang tag package here, uh, some information on the back which basically gives a SKU number um, 410563BK-R indicating black for right hand. Um, this appears to show me a list of a bunch of different firearms that um, Blackhawk makes this holster for. The Glock, the Colt, Beretta, Sig, Springfield, H&K, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, um, ta the Taser X26, I make one for the Taser, um, FN, FN57, Taurus, uh, J-Frame revolvers, Walther P99, uh, other Smith & Wesson M&Ps, PX4 Storm, the Beretta, Springfield XD, uh, on and on and on. So uh, you can probably find one of these will fit just about any firearm that you might have. So the packaging itself is retail hang, hang packaging. Uh, good packaging um, and safely protects the components. Uh, when you open it up, um, We've got the holster, the paddle mount for the holster, and we've got a, a bag of some parts here. Now keep in mind, I've already opened this, I've already taken it out, uh, I've already been wearing this for a couple of days so I can give you some honest feedback. So these bags have already been opened, but uh, I put all the little parts back in the bag so you can see that the, these parts would be in this bag. And the screws would be in this bag. You got three screws right there. Um, this is the belt loop holster. We'll talk about that. Um, the CQC comes with the belt loop holster and the paddle. Um, warranty card, I believe. Yeah, warranty card and the manual which talks about the different configurations um, excuse me there uh, user manual talks about how to draw the, the pistol from the holster how to mount it to a platform and how to mount all the accessories and, and so on I won't go into that. Uh, that could take 20 minutes just talking about the owner's manual. But some good information there that you can refer to uh, for assembly and use of this product. So the first thing, um, when you get this particular setup, yeah, okay, I think you can see it better now. When you get this particular setup, you're going to have to determine uh, if you want to configure the belt loop mount or if you want to go with the paddle. Now, after using this for several days, um, I tried this. Um, you need a pretty big, stiff belt that's very tight for this to work, and it's still kind of flimsy. Um, I didn't really care for this option. Um, so... I'm not going to discuss it a whole lot in detail, but um, there are, uh, in this bag, 
you've got these little accessories here which uh, mount to this that will allow you to adjust the size for your belt. Um, obviously multiple holes here allow you to adjust the cant of the holster so you can mount it straight up or you can turn it in an angle. So you've got some flexibility there but since I didn't like this um, I'm not going to focus on, on this particular aspect of this uh, holster. Now the paddle I found to be very secure, very comfortable. Uh, it stayed inside the pants um, and even drawing the pistol um, this isn't really going to pull out. Mainly because you're not relying on the tension of the holster to hold your firearm uh, in. Um, the Serpa has an auto lock uh, on it that releases the pistol from the holster. Uh, there also is a tension um, there's a passive retention um, screw right here uh, which you can adjust. Um, I, I did not make any adjustments to this. Right out of the package this was pretty much good to go. I'll talk about this in the uh, auto lock uh, feature momentarily. But with the paddle um, you can see with the multiple holes here same, same setup. You can mount this straight up or you can put it at a cant. Now, what they also include are these little items here. Now, these little items are designed to, I believe these are designed to go in the back. Um, and, yes, they're designed to go in the back, some, some, something like this. Um, you would insert them like so and use a coin or a screwdriver and twist them up to lock them in place. And with, them, with these items locked in place, as you slide this over your belt, your, your belt would catch right here. So if you went to pull this out, uh, these would stop this holster from moving. Um, I'm, I'm actually not using these. I think this is a great idea. But when you go to install this, um, this, this whole back assembly right here is going to go uh, inside your pants along with this hook down here. This hook right here I've found to be more than adequate to keep this from pulling out. Um, basically my belt runs right along here on the outside of the pants and there's just no way this doesn't pull out. So these are optional. You can use these if you want. Um, I didn't see a necessity for uh, using them. Now the CQC Serpa is actually um, made out of uh, carbon fiber. So this material is very strong. Um, now, I'm not sure if both of these are made out of carbon fiber. I know the holster is made out of carbon fiber. Um, they look like they're made out of the same material, but I don't want somebody uh, uh, holding me to that. The build quality of these components is very, very high. Um, the holster, the paddle, the accessories that it comes with, um, excellent quality. Um, the holster itself will bolt, will screw down to the paddle or to the belt loop uh, right here. Now you'll notice that we've got metal female inserts here. So uh, this, is, this is a really a necessity. Um, whenever you're screwing in the plastic, you only get so many chances at that before the plastic strips out or the bolt pulls out altogether. And yes, this is the carbon fiber but still you wouldn't want to screw a bolt directly into carbon fiber. So we've got metal female inserts here for the screws. I found the screws to be very high quality screws. And let's see if we can kind of capture the screw a little bit. Um, if you can make this out, the screws actually come with some Loctite applied to them. So once you screw this down, these are not going to uh, loosen up on you. Very good design, good quality screws, good thought out design of this holster uh, and the paddle. Um, with my shield, you can see how this works. 
this auto lock uh, mechanism prevents the firearm from coming out of the holster. So basically when you reach for your pistol, you're going to reach it like this with your trigger finger extended, which is good, and press the lever and the firearm will slide right out. Um, this does not come out unless you press that down. Excellent design, excellent retention, uh, very safe. Uh, the full, the, the trigger is protected. It's, it's not exposed in any way, shape, or form. Uh, just a very, very nice design it's, uh, and very easy to draw. You do have to do a little bit of practice. Uh, you've got to remember that you need to press down on that to remove your firearms. So, you know, if you do buy one of these, um, do practice, uh, build up some muscle memory with uh, uh, drawing your, your, your firearm from this, this holster. Okay, so... The, there are two models available. There is the CQC, which is this one, and there's the Sportster. Now, it's kind of complicated to figure out the differences between the two because Blackhawk isn't real specific on their website, but uh, uh, I did do a bit of research. Now, the CQC is the more expensive uh, version uh, of this holster, and the CQC... Um, comes with the belt loop and the paddle. The Sportster only has the paddle. That's one big difference. The second big difference is the Sportster is made of polymer. The CQC is made of carbon fiber. The CQC um, has a matte finish and it's available in several colors. The Sportster is only in gray. Uh, I noticed that the Sportster, the paddle is black, and the holster is gray on the Sportster. So, personally, um, the the sell point for me with the CQC is the uh, carbon fiber construction. Um, like I mentioned, it this ran me about forty dollars, and you know, depending upon where you get it from and any sales, you might be able to score it for a little bit less. But that's really not a lot of money to spend for such a high quality piece, in my opinion. So the other good thing about the Blackhawk Serpa design is that your holster can be interchangeable. So, uh, and not just between the paddle and the belt loop. With the addition of the um, quick disconnect, which I, obviously I don't have one, but the quick disconnect is a male-female, it's a little round assembly uh, one one assembly would would screw on right here, and another assembly would screw on here. So you put like a male version here and a female here, and you would just insert this and twist to lock. And then there's a little push tab, and you push it, twist it, and remove it. Now the advantage with that is you can take your holster off, and you can uh, uh, put this on a strike panel. Um, the strike panel is kind of like a, 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 a panel that has uh, molly strips on it that goes on like a tactical vest. So if you have the quick detach, you can quickly take this off a holster and put it on your, your, your strike panel on your molly vest. Or you can um, put this onto a tactical holster. They have a, a Blackhawk has a very nice leg holster that uh, this will go on to and uh, so you've got a lot of flexibility you don't have to buy uh, a holster for every one of your panels plus um, that's one advantage the other advantage is if you run with multiple firearms and you have a, a leg holster paddle holster and maybe a strike platform you can buy, like say I have an, an M&P shield, I buy one of these for an M&P shield and, and buy another one for a Glock 19. Um, I can, I don't have to, I can just swap these around real easy. So it's modular in design and, and it's very well thought out in my opinion for uh, people who have multiple firearms and people that are, are switching between multiple platforms. 
Now, I don't have a strike platform, and I don't have uh, a Blackhawk uh, leg holster, although I do plan on buying them. Um, if they're anything like what I have here, um, this is the last holster I'm ever going to need. So, let me go ahead and mount this. I'm going to go ahead and mount this here, and I'll, I'll sh show you how it mounts, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, mounting the uh, holster to the paddle or to the belt loop uh, is real easy with the three screws. And, you know, if you want to add a cant, for example, if I wanted to, um, this, since this is right hand, if I wanted to cant the firearm a little bit this way, basically take out this screw, take out this screw, loosen this, uh, tilt it down one notch or, or two notches, uh, and then re put the screw these two screws back in and tighten up this one. So it's real easy to uh, adjust the cant on this. Um, I found the straight up and down uh, is, is optimal for me. Um, when, I, when this slides in, um, like I mentioned, um, this back piece here is going to go inside your pants. Uh, your your uh, belt is, is going to be on the outside. And basically, this, this part right here goes all the way down to the top of your pants. So this tucks in pretty deep. This is fairly comfortable. Um, although my skin is, is somewhat sensitive, you, you might be able to see this in the picture. There, there are some, some um, uh, injection um, marks here. These little round circles are probably from an injection molding process. And they are a little bit rough, and I can feel that on my skin. So I'm probably going to take some 600 grit paper or, or uh, possibly an emery file, and I'm going to see if I can smooth this down. Um, what would be really nice, since this part comes in contact with my skin, is if there was some sort of a soft suede-type material on this. It probably won't bother most people, but um, uh, it does bother me a little bit, uh, so I'm going to see what I can do about that. Uh, any material you put on this, you run the run the risk of it coming off. So, um, but uh, you know something on here a little bit softer, since it's up against your skin, would be would be nice in my opinion. The um, these little um, belt hooks, like I mentioned, would uh, go in like so. Um, I did try try these. Uh, this can be problematic to slide in to your pants and get over your belt. With these in place it makes it even more difficult because you have to bend this even farther back to slide your your belt and stuff over this. Um, so I didn't particularly care for these. Plus I found that this hook right there uh, it's, it's not gonna th that hooks going to keep this in your pants. You, there's no way you can really pull this out. This hook will basically catch um, as long as you're wearing a belt, um, this is going to catch and it's going to keep it in. At least for me it has. So I'm running without these um, little extra belt hooks, but uh, I think it's a, a good design um, and it's a nice option to have. So at this point I've been wearing this for um, two, three days and uh, you know this obviously this goes outside your waistband so uh, for you to do concealed carry with this, you're going to need kind of a baggy shirt or a jacket. Um, I will be using this for cold weather carry where I'm, where I'm wearing a jacket. Um, this conceals very well. Um, it's not really noticeable at all while I'm wearing it. It's very comfortable uh, as long as you get it placed right. Um, I have it on my hip. Um, in the summer... Um, if you had a light t-shirt covering this, it may print um, because it does stick out. But in the summer, um, I'm uh, using the, uh, the, the Nate um, uh, inside the waistband holster right here. Um, and I, I wear this about uh, at the 5 o'clock position. So with this tucked inside the waistband with a shirt, um, you know, you don't uh, you don't get a lot of printing with this. Now, wearing this at five o'clock um, at the five o'clock position, 
the biggest biggest complaint I have with this is is if you're sitting a lot, if you're sitting at a desk, or if you're sitting in a car or driving around in a car, um, this is is pressed between the seat and your back and your shirt, um, and it's not necessarily comfortable for you know driving long hours. Now the the suede material on the back of this is real comfortable, so there's no irritation there. It's just the the pressure of this. Uh, uh, being up against uh, your back. So for me, this is summer. Uh, for cold weather, uh, I'm going to be using the uh, Serpa. And that's all I have to say on the Serpa. Uh, I don't think you'll go wrong with, with this. Um, I'm very impressed with it so far. Uh, I think it's very well worth the money at, at $40. And I'm going to wrap that up.